Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode six of All the Mods Nine to the Sky, where we get into RS Nouveau. Uh, if you guys want to see what type of fun we got into with this episode, just sit back and enjoy. Okay, uh, so. I was looking at something I need, and I need it from the mossy block here. Uh, I, I need to sieve some stuff here with the mossy uh, block. And to make mossy blocks, I noticed that it allows us to go with the combiner here. Uh, so we're going to take a quick trip into uh, this to make what is the atomizer and the reason why we need the atomizer Got one with stone for that. The reason why we need the atomizer is a unique uh, thing here. So we're going to grab a couple of waters here and put them right into the atomizer. And we're going to get water from this. Uh, about 32 water, so I think we want to do two more of these at least. Yes, guys, you're going to see, see a little bit. If you pause that right there, you can see what's coming up. Okay. I, I was uh, talking with one of the fellow players on the server here uh, about my goals. So I, I need some hydrogen, some oxygen to make these mossy blocks. And that is because we're going to need cellulose. Now, there is an easy way of getting cellulose through logs. We, we already know that. But I want to play around with the combiner a little bit here. So, uh, give me a few seconds to process uh, this material, and I will be right back. After a little bit of breaking it down, we have the first step. We want to check mark this. We want to say lock this recipe for right now so we can close this. We can toss uh, carbon that we have in here, the hydrogen and the oxygen. We have cellulose. It's making us the cellulose that we need. Not as much as I want. So it might be quicker just to break down some trees. We'll take 32 of these logs and break these down here. Just to grab some more cellulose. But but we can make our own cellulose now. So so that that's what that was for. Uh, and the next thing I would like to do is in a combiner here. Okay. We can go to this and say moss. Moss. We can click moss here. Lock that in. Uh, close this recipe. Cellulose and water. 
and we're getting the moss. So let's grab that extra cellulose. So so you can make your own uh, cellulose. That's a cool thing to do. I just wanted to show you guys that while we make this moss here. Just need a little bit more of that cellulose. Might have to grab some more water. And the reason why is I would like to take these mossy blocks here and break these guys down to get some uh, saplings. Okay, there's one of them. There's another one of them. We need two more saplings. So, so uh, let's see if we can uh, get the remaining ones of those. Just be a few seconds. Uh, oh, a source berry. That is awesome needed. So we're going to make this the tree one. So we'll just put this in here. I will definitely be using those mineral saplings. Uh, just putting away some of this stuff here. This can hold this. I want this on me. That, that, that can go in there. So, uh, hopefully, we can get the remaining minerals or the remaining saplings from uh, RS Nepo. I did not get so lucky, so. So uh, what we're going to have to do is figure them out here in a little bit about how we're going to get the rest of these. So now that we've got these, uh, I can't remember. Can that go on a single block of or it might not be able to, so we might need to get some more dirt. Uh, be here. Okay, so it does need a four by four. Take out our awesome axe of tree. Get some of this wood here. And some of this wood as well. Oof. need to break these remaining outliers here. We got the uh, start of the elemental woods we're going to need. Uh, and yes, we're getting into uh, RS Nouveau. Come on. And uh, let me look here, see what we need, and I will be right back. Okay, guys, uh, one of the people that I'm playing with has one of the mobs we need. So we're getting us a mob yoinker going over. This is Widden's base. He is one of the awesomest people. He is going with Mystical Agricraft, it looks like. Uh, 
Ah, here he is. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this is one of the creatures we're going to be needing here. Very nice base so far. I'm, I'm, I'm just giving a quick little tour here. Apparently, they're already up to the reactor. Um, I, I did need him, so that is why we're here. He was to help us out with that, so let's go back to our base. We're back here. We, we saw Wynn's base. He is awesome. He has been playing on it since day one. I did take a week off, uh, after the first few episodes, so we're just getting back into it. Uh, we'll be right back. Okay, and after a short little break here, I would like to make some tools. Okay, so we need a uh, pickaxe. a hoe and a shovel, as well as a sword and another book. And if I'm not mistaken, we add all of those together. Oh, an axe. Oh, we didn't need a hoe, we needed an axe. Well, that's, that's okay. Okay, so now we should have everything we need to make the starting spell. Uh, which will give us another quest complete here, which will give us a potion of mana regeneration and some more XP. I uh, now it wants us to make some planks out of this arch arch wood. There we go. We got that. Um, to get a mage spell book, we would take the novice obsidian, three diamonds. Two blocks of quartz and a couple of blaze rocks, which we don't have yet. Any of those. Uh, creating your first spell. While cr holding your spell book, you can press C to open your spell book creation page. Each spell must have a form. You start off with three basic forms projectile, self, cast, and touch. For the effect, this determines what happens when your spell when you cast the spell. You can have up to nine effects per spell. For starters, you have harm and break. Select one form and one effect, name your spell, and click create. Um, in the bottom left of your screen, you'll see a bar. This bar is your mana pool. There are several ways, so this is what will pretty much while we have our spell book in hand, you see the mana pool. And so like we can do a projectile break. Okay. And projectile break, we call it uh, break and we click create. Okay, so now we cast that, it breaks whatever we look at. Simple as that. Simple as that. Uh, the 
we meant to do that. All right. Um, but to make more advanced spells here, we're going to have to get a scribe table. So scribe table looks to be two logs, two nuggets, and some slats. So that should be as easy as this to get our uh, table. Okay, so we should be able to do this and get that. Okay, so now we have a scribes table. Uh, so does this tell us how to use the scribe table? If you want to cast better spells, you need a scribes table to unlock new glyphs for your spellbook. There are three tiers of glyphs to unlock, and each one requires some experience and items. The scribe table is also used to attach spells to spell parchments. To do this, place a spell parchment on the table. Uh, to create a glyph, right click on the scribe table with your spell book, search for the glyph you want to make, then click select at the bottom, right click the table with the items required, and the glyph will be created. Use the glyph to learn it. Note the table can put items from nearby inventories. So we get a random glyph from this and the some XP. So we get the glyph of redstone signal. So if we right click this and make a mess for ourselves, we've got to be very careful where we're looking at. And replace what we break. So we don't fall down. I'll press C. And now we can go to say spell two here. We'll say touch redstone signal. And we can say uh, redstone. Okay. And now, when we cast this, we don't see any uh, redstone or anything like that. But if we come over here, take some uh, redstone out. Now go to this. Hmm. Maybe we need projectile. I'm not sure how the redstone one works. But uh, now we can come over here, click this and say we want uh, underfoot. We need a pair of iron boots and a wooden pressure plate. So we can select this and we need to go over here, grab our iron that we have. Do we have any more iron? Gonna need to make some real quick. Just one. Uh, the hammer. This. Just need one, one iron. And we can make the boots. Okay, so. We also need a wooden pressure plate, so. 
we can get the wooden pressure plate like so, iron boots, and now we can go over here to this and right click. We can see that it's requiring a wooden pressure plate. It starts driving up the glyph and we get the glyph of underfoot. Now, we can change this out to, I think, underfoot. I'm not sure exactly what the redstone does. Uh, glyph one tiers. Tier one glyphs require three levels of experience to be made. Okay, so that's good to know. We get plenty of XP from this. Uh, and I'm going to spend some, spend a little bit here making up some glyphs and, of the tier one level. And uh, after this, I will see how much time we have left as well. Okay. And after making some glyphs here, collecting the rewards. Um... I was deciding we do need to get into imbuement uh, as well as making source gems. So first it wants us to make an imbuement chamber. Let's grab some of this. Okay, so imbuement chamber. Just my luck. It starts raining after I hit the record button. Unit chamber, here we go. I, it says to set um, these pillars around it. Source gems. We're going to need source gems, which requires an imbuement chamber, not an enchantment apparatus, an imbuement chamber. So we'll set down this imbuement chamber. Come over here, take out some of this lapis lazuli. And after a bit, quite a long bit, by the way. Uh, it will produce a source gem. Now, the source gems are useful for a lot of the later on stuff, like the uh, source stones, which I think requires yeah, it requires one source gem as well as eight stone, it looks like. So let's take a little bit of stone here. Uh, I did get a bit of uh, the spells, like I said, researched and everything. Uh, I didn't get them all because, well, we got to a, a point where uh, I needed more stuff. So... We can get source gems this way, uh, but we can also automate this with a couple of chests and a couple of hoppers. Let's see here. Yeah, we have enough iron. And... Take this, set this up like so, get the couple of poppers, and we'll pick this up. Oh, 
I uh, will say, we'll set this uh, basic chest. We'll turn it into a drawer here. I will set this drawer here for right now. It's only temporary until uh, I go over that way and get us an island set up. Uh, set this hopper up here. Put this imbuement chamber on top of it. Set this hopper on top of this. And on top of this, we'll set this chest here where we'll put the lapis lazuli. And nope, nope. Yeah, that's that should work, but it's not going to. It's just filtering right through it. So how we're going to fix this is with uh, one of these. I'm going to put a source gem right in there. And pipe downwards. So once this gets finished crafting a source gem, it will pipe right into here. Okay, and that should allow us to progress. So give it a few moments, let this rain lighten up, and I will be right back after uh, I get three source gems. And after a few minutes, here we go, we got the two of those uh, source gems. We get some more source gems some Aris Nouveau thing, uh, gift, with, uh, wild in spikes. Very useful. Okay, so it looks like we got three. And so with that done, guys, we have got the initial start into Aris Nouveau. Uh, you can see here, we've got those guys setting there. Uh, I need a uh, pink dye, which hey, I don't know if I have any more beads. Yeah, okay, we do have beads. Uh, oh, no. Okay. Okay. Uh, so we can... Do the white dye, red dye, to pink dye, and pink carpet. Okay. Do we have any in here? Yes. Well, two of these. Two pink dice. But if you guys like this episode, hit that like button. If you dislike this episode, go right ahead, dislike it. Tell me why you disliked it down in the lower section. Uh, in the next episode, we're going to get started on making source, getting some source gems. And progressing through this uh, a little bit more. So hopefully we get another wild, wild end spike here. Because we're going to need some uh, wild ends. Um, we're going to definitely be looking at getting us... Uh, some dragons and uh, show you guys how that is all done and everything. Uh, but we'll do that next episode. And until next time, if you guys do want to play on this server with us, go over to Twitch right now. Uh, 
follow follow and subscribe over there on Twitch, me or Crimson Fury, and join our Discord. And we can get you onto the server. Uh, and until next time, later, Gators. <laughs>